In this unscripted video, I'm going to be discussing some of the new features in TerraSculptor 3 as of the past month. First off, what I'm going to be doing is getting some terrain. I'm going to be getting Mount Hood, Oregon, USA to use as a height map. I'm getting a 12288 by 12288 size. Uh, and I'm using the large size for normal map and for texture. And I'm going to be actually shrinking it down smaller for a mesh. Uh, what I'm going to be showing in this video is the new Tile EX creator in TerraSculptor now supports meshes. So you can actually send out a tiled set of meshes to create a mesh-based terrain system in Unreal Engine 5, for example. So I've already downloaded most of the uh, assets so that I don't have to waste time in the video pulling everything down. So I'm just going to open up the height map here, for example. There's the original height map. Now, one of the things you have to keep in mind is the exporter for meshes in the Tile EX Creator exports as OBJ or FBX. Now, the big issue with this is Unreal Engine 5, as many of you might have already found out, it rotates OBJ and FBX format meshes on odd axes. So it usually ends up messing up your mesh on you for if you want it oriented correctly. Now, in the case of uh, doing a mesh-based terrain system, if you want it to be in the same orientation as what you see here, uh, with actual top being up, you have to flip the uh, height map vertically in order to be able to get it to render correctly in the right orientation in Unreal Engine 5. Now there's two ways you can do that. You can use the data map flip V for flip vertical here in the tile EX creator, or you could just go ahead and uh, flip it vertically in the adjust tools, which of course that way it's already pre-done uh, because you, not only are going to want to create the mesh OBJ files from this, but you're also going to want to use the normal map creator to create a normal map for the uh, terrain as well. So it's good to have it flipped so that the uh, normal map creation is the right way around. Now, as mentioned, I've already created uh, some of the assets already so that I don't have to go through the long process of waiting here. But if essentially what I did is I went in and resampled this down to 4095 by 4095. Remember, it's down by minus one because we've got shared vertices. So I resampled this down. Then went into the Tile EX Creator and created a 2x2. Two two. I no longer have to flip V because I've already flipped it. Shared Tile Edges. And then you want the X0, Y0 Tile Naming System. And then save this off. And when you save it, save it to OBJ Format. Um, now you can also change the mesh vertex spacing in here if you don't want it at the one meter size. Currently I'm using 100 centimeters for a 100 meter size. Uh, but essentially you would save off these as OBJ files. Then you would resample, you would reload back the original height map again, the original 12288 height map.
and you would then want to resample it up for the normal map which what I would do there is go with 16384 by 16384 which is the largest texture size that you can get bring that into the normal map creator Then take and save that as a PNG file for the actual normal map. Of course, it's going to be flipped vertically because you'll need it flipped vertically for Unreal Engine. So you would save that. Then when you were done with that, you would then go into the tile creator because it does RGB images as well. You would load up the normal map. Split it into two by two, but don't share the tile edge because this is a texture. So you'll want it saved off just as a standard full size 8192 by 8192 chunks for the textures. That would then be saved off as your tiles. And then you would also use in the tools, you would use the topology explorer to go to the same location as the uh, you did in the mapper to get the to get the topology map, which looks like this, and use that as a base texture uh, in Unreal Engine. Initially, you could create a splat map and go all out and texture it real fancy. But I'm just using a topology map of it, which of course, what I did in the paint software is I flipped it vertically again because Unreal Engine needs everything flipped. So essentially I've created all of my assets. I've got the OBJ files, which is my meshes. I've got the normal map tiles and I've got the topology tiles. Everything's been flipped V'd. So now I go into Unreal Engine 5. Now in the textures, I want the topology tiles that I created. And I want the normal map tiles that I created. Now I'm going to have to make four materials for this. You could make a master material and then four material instances, or you could make four materials whichever way you want to do it. The only thing to keep in mind is you have to also, in the texture, do a flip vertical to get things to work correctly with Unreal Engine because of their oddball uh, orientation of the OBJ files. So I'm just going to rename this to X0, Y0, because that's going to be the one for my X0, Y0. And this is going to be X0, Y1. And then X1, Y0. 
and x1, y1. Now I just need to set the textures correctly for all of those. kind of tough working on the editor at this lower resolution. 1920 by 1080 is terrible. Now I'm going to import the meshes. And when you import these OBJ meshes, you can just import them with all the standard settings. You don't have to use any custom translation or rotation or anything because the TerraSculptor export function correctly sets all of the uh, pivot point and all that stuff correct for the mesh so that it imports incorrectly with the pivot point at world 000. So all you have to do for every tile is make sure you put them to 000, and it will automatically create the terrain mesh system all in the correct positions. And this even is correct for if you went with a 2x2 two two mesh or a 4x4 four four mesh or an 8x8 eight eight mesh system. Uh, so for example, if you wanted a really huge terrain, uh, like 65 kilometers by 65 kilometers, you might want to split that up into a 64 by 64 uh, mesh uh, setup. The Tile EX creator in TerraSculptor will correctly position all of the tiles so that when you drop every one of those couple hundred tiles into the editor, the pivot points are all correct. This is going to take a minute to import even on my fast machine here. Each one of these mesh tiles that I created for this, since it's a 2x2 two two split of a 4095 by 4095 height map, each one of them is 2048 by 2048. Okay, looks like it's done. So now if I just drag all of these in, all of my zero points all match up correctly, all of my pivots. So every one of them is correct. Now, okay, this is X0, Y0. So that gets material. X0, Y0. This is zero one. This is one zero. And this is one one. I'll select all of them again.
Oh, this is wrong. It's supposed to be one one. I thought it was off. It didn't look correct. So let's save that. There we go. Now it looks correct. So now we've got a 100% mesh created terrain system, which you could nanite it if you want real high speed. And one of the advantages of this is unlike the height map based system that the standard landscape uses, you're not going to be limited to a 16321 by 16321 height map that the current world partition is. You can actually make this mesh system as large as you want. You can make LODs for it. You can make the number of tiles, a massive number of tiles. Uh, TerraSculptor itself in the Tile EX Creator actually supports in the tile count up to 52 by 52 tiles for over 2,700 tiles. So you could actually make a really massive terrain system if you've got a large enough height map. Anyway, this is basically it for this video. Shows how to make a nice mesh-based terrain system in Unreal Engine.